there, this is Brittany from Just Be Crafty. Today I'm sharing how to make the checkered waves dishcloth. I love this dishcloth because the finished result actually makes a really pretty reversible piece. The front shows off a quirky wavy checkered pattern, while the back creates the most perfect basket weave. I really think you're going to like this project, so I'm really excited to share this. For a complete list of materials in the written pattern, please see the description box below for a link to my blog post with all that important information. You'll really want to follow along with the written pattern for this project and keep track of your rows because if you don't, it might get a little confusing. This pattern is designed for intermediate beginners and higher and assumes you know the following skills. Casting on, the knit stitch, the purl stitch, and binding off. Once you've mastered all those skills, I'm confident you can tackle this pattern. Real quick before we start, I want to take the time to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit the bell so that you never miss a new tutorial. I release new patterns on Tuesdays and new stitch techniques on Fridays, so you definitely don't want to miss out. With all this out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start our project by grabbing our yarn and knitting needles. I will have the exact products I'm using linked in the description box below. We're going to start by making a slip knot and casting on 45 stitches onto our knitting needle. So if you'd like, go ahead and pause here and meet back up with me once you have 45 stitches casted onto your knitting needle. If you're super new to knitting and aren't sure how to cast on, be sure to let me know in the comments below because if there's interest, I'd love to make a tutorial. Okay, so I have my 45 stitches casted onto my needle, and you might just want to do a quick recount just to make sure you have 45. To start row 1, we are going to knit 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, we're going to purl three stitches. So that's one purl, two purl, and three purl. Next, we're going to knit five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And next, we're going to purl three. So that's one, two, three, and next we're going to knit five. Keep repeating this process of knitting five and purling three until you get to the end of the row. You will be ending your repeat on a knit five. So the last five stitches on your needle will be knit. So if you'd like, go ahead, pause here, and meet back up with me once you have completed your first row. I'm almost to the end of my first row. I have five stitches remaining and those will all be knit. 
So this is my third, fourth, and fifth. And we've just completed our first row, so now we can turn our work and begin row two. For row two, we are going to purl five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're going to knit three. So that's one, two, three. You're going to keep repeating the process of purling five and knitting three until you get to the end of the row. You will end your repeats by doing a purl five on your last five stitches. Once again, if you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you get to the end of row two. I'm just about to the end of row two. I have five stitches remaining and all of those will be purled. So that's my first one, second one, third one, fourth, and fifth. So I've just completed row two. For rows three through six, repeat rows one and two. So you'll be repeating rows one and two two more times. I suggest to pause here and meet back up with me once you have completed row six. Now we're ready to begin row seven. To start row seven, we're going to knit one and purl three. So that's one, two, and three. Next, we're going to knit five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're going to purl three. So this is one, two, three. Once again, we're going to knit five. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Keep repeating purl five and knit three until you get to the end of the row. At the end of the row, there'll be one stitch left over. So flash forward a little bit. I am now at my last four stitches. I'm going to purl these last three. So that's one, two, and three. And for my last stitch, I'm going to knit. And this completes row seven. So turn your work and now we're ready to begin row eight. To start row eight, we're going to begin by purling one. So purl one, and next we're going to knit three. One, two, three. Next, we're going to purl five. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Next, we're going to knit three. One, two, and three. Keep repeating purl five, knit three across the row until you get to your last four unworked stitches. So if you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you have four stitches left on your needle. All right, so I'm at my last four stitches. So for the last three, I'm going to knit. So knit one, two, and three. And for my last stitch, I'm going to purl one. And this completes row eight. For rows 9 through 12, you're going to repeat rows 7 and 8. So you'll be repeating rows 7 and 8 two more times. I suggest, once again, pause here and meet back up with me once you have completed row 12, which will also be a repeat of row 8. At this point, we've just completed row 12, and we really should see the checkered appearance starting to form in our work. So for rows 13 through 48, we're just going to be repeating rows 1 through 12 three more times. I've just finished my 48th row and now I'm ready to begin row 49. Row 49 is going to be simply a repeat of row 1. So we're going to start by knitting 5. This is my second knit. Third knit. Fourth. And fifth. Next, I'm going to purl three, one, two, and three. Next, I'm going to knit five. And now I'm going to purl three. Keep repeating the process of purling three and knitting five until you get to the end of the row. You will end your row by knitting five. I'm just about at the end of row 49. I have five stitches left and those are all going to be knit. All right, so this completes row 49, and now we're ready to begin row 50. Row 50 is just going to be a repeat of row 2. So we're going to start by purling 5. And then we're going to knit three. Keep repeating the repetition of knit three and purl five until we get to the end of the row. The last five stitches of the row will be purled. I'm at my last five stitches, so I'm going to purl into each one of these, and this will conclude row 50. For rows 51 and 52, you're simply going to be doing repeats of rows 1 and 2. Row 53 will be a repeat of row 1. Go ahead, pause here, and meet back up with me once you get to the end of row 53. Okay, so we've just completed row 53, and now we're on row 54, which is our bind off row. For this row, we are going to be working a repeat of row 2, but binding off as we go. So for row 2, we start by purling 1 and then we purl into our next stitch, 
and then we're going to slide that first stitch up and over the second stitch and off our needle. We're then going to purl into the next stitch and then we're going to slide the first stitch up and over the second and off the needle. You're going to repeat this process until you get to the end of the row. So just remember you're going to be alternating between purl 5 and knit 3 and you're going to bind off each stitch as you go. If you find binding off a little tricky and need help with this technique, be sure to let me know in the comment section below as I'd be happy to make a tutorial if there's interest. I'm now just working on my last couple stitches that I'm binding off. And yay, now I've completed my last row so we can clip our yarn. Slide your last loop off your knitting needle and take your tail and pull it through that loop. Pull tight to secure. And this concludes the Checkered Waves dishcloth. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and would like to, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new tutorial. I come out with new patterns, typically on Tuesdays, and new stitch techniques on Fridays. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!